hi uh, today we are going to discuss about joint space and cartesian space trajectory planning first of all what is trajectory planning to accomplish a specific task the end vector of manipulator must move in a particular fashion trajectory planning deals with finding the movement pattern to achieve a task the goal of trajectory planning is to describe the required motion of the manipulator as a time sequence of joint link end vector locations and the derivatives of locations which are generated by interpolating or approximating the desired path by a polynomial function first what are the terminologies used in trajectory planning in this we have path trajectory knot points or via points or interpolation points first one is path a path is the locus of points to be traversed by the manipulator to execute a specified task trajectory a trajectory is a path with specified qualities of motion a path on which time law is specified in terms of velocities and accelerations at each point in other words a trajectory is the time sequence of position velocity and acceleration for each joint or end vector of the manipulator knot points or via points or interpolation points these are a set of intermediate locations between the start point destination point on the trajectory through which the manipulator must pass next steps in trajectory planning first one is task description next next one selecting and employing a trajectory planning technique third one is computing the trajectory okay next one is task description what is task description the first step in trajectory planning is to identify the kind of motion required the kinds of motion commonly encountered are point to point p2p motion continuous path motion cp and motion with more than two points specified point to point with via points first what is point to point motion the initial and final end vector locations are specified it is not of interest what the path arm takes to reach the destination point such motions are suitable for simple pick and place applications next one in continuous path motion in addition to the start and end points the path to be traversed by the arm is also specified this type of motion is suitable for applications such as welding and painting and the type of motion is one where more than two points of path are specified <laughs> this is an extension of point to point motion which ensures better monitoring of the executed trajectory this is suitable for pick and place application with obstacle between pick and place points first selection techniques in trajectory planning in this we have two types first one is joint space techniques second one is cartesian space techniques the selection of the technique depends on the nature of task for p2p motion with or without via points joint space techniques are employed wherein the motion plan is done at joint level for continuous path motion cartesian space techniques are used wherein the motion planning is done at end vector level in this case the joint variables required to achieve a desired end vector location is calculated from inverse kinematics next how to computing the trajectory the final step in trajectory planning is to compute the time sequence of values attained by the functions generated from the trajectory planning technique we already know we have two types first one is joint space second one is cartesian space what's the difference between joint space and cartesian space first joint space it is simple to implement cartesian space it is computationally complex joint space does not account for existence of obstacles in work space in cartesian space it takes the existence of obstacles into account joint space is difficult to predict the resulting end vector motion that will be produced in cartesian it is easy to specify the position and orientation of rigid body here in joint space the accuracy is more in cartesian the accuracy is less joint space the planned path do not have singularities in cartesian space the planned path may have singularities joint space the representation of task is not simple and clear 
when cartesian it is better and simpler representation of task okay next joint space techniques the joint space trajectory planning techniques are third order polynomial trajectory planning fifth order polynomial trajectory planning linear segments with parabolic blends higher order trajectory planning okay in third order polynomial trajectory planning a third order equation describes the trajectory which is given by theta of t equal to a0 plus a1 a1 t plus a2 t square plus a3 t cube in fifth order polynomial trajectory planning a fifth order equation describes the trajectory which is given by theta of t equal to a0 plus a1 t plus a2 t square plus a3 t cube plus a4 t power 4 plus a5 t power 5 third order uses third order polynomial trajectory planning for fifth order we can use fifth order trajectory planning linear segments with parabolic blends trajectory planning contains theta of t equal to a0 plus a1 t plus 1 by 2 a2 t square in higher order polynomial trajectory planning theta of t equal to a0 plus a1 t plus a2 t square plus etc plus a n minus 1 t power n minus 1 plus a n t power n for n th order polynomial trajectory planning next cartesian space trajectory planning the techniques that were used for joint space planning can be used here in case of joint joint space technique the value obtained is the direct joint value but in case of cartesian space technique the position and orientation are obtained from which the joint values must be computed using inverse kinematics approach so cartesian space trajectory planning is complex when compared to joint space the step by step process followed in cartesian space planning is described as follows the first step is increment the time by t equal to t plus delta t here delta is variation in time second step step to us to calculate the position and orientation of the hand based on the selected function third order or fifth order or higher order polynomial or linear segment with parabolic blends for the trajectory next to calculate the joint values for the obtained position and orientation using inverse kinematics approach next send the joint information to the controller the last one is go to the beginning loop okay i repeat again first increment the time by t equal to t plus delta t second one is calculate the position and orientation of the hand based on the selected function it may be third order fifth order higher order or linear segment with parabolic blends for the trajectory next calculate the joint values next step is to find the joint information to the controller the last one is go to the beginning of loop thank you